Well, it's happening, party people. Going to have a busy day the next two days. I'm going to try to get Pepper running. Then I'm going to take Pepper and try to pick up a vehicle to a vehicle back to Cincinnati and do a manual conversion on it. Vehicles in Columbus. Guy's been wanting to get this done for quite some time. So we're finally going to get that done. I don't even think his car is working. I think his torque converter is locked up. So this is going to be a, a pleasant change for him. Getting the car converted and then being able to drive it again. So got to get a lot of stuff done. Today's video, I was tinkering around with my buddy John, helping him get his daughter's replacement car uh, up to par and just had a great day so hope you enjoyed the clips thanks for watching and catch you later welcome to hanging out with robert that's me this video contains things that i encounter throughout the day if for some reason i complete a task and you would like to see the details you could click on the link in the description area below this video also contains tips and tricks that i learned throughout the years i plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days after that you can view it through my patreon account Thank you very much for watching. We are kicking off the day. About to go do some laundry. Guy's supposed to cut the grass today around noon. But, uh, the sun is coming up. City limits, 24 hour coin laundry. We are here with John's daughter's newer car replacement. She upgraded from an NA to turbo. Even though that had turbo wheels, it was fake. It was faking it. But uh, we're going to do all the cooling on this thing. Uh, radiator, oil cooler block off, firewall junction, heater hoses, heater core, just everything we can get at. The, the radiator hoses is not bad, that one and the other, so we won't do that. But it's been getting some of these parts transferred over here. John, where'd this car come from? Is this the one from? Most of its time in Indiana and okay. Southern Virginia. Alright, so it's almost a local car. Shouldn't be too bad. Let's get started with draining the coolant, getting this radiator out of here. We got one item and two items done. We got the new radiator hung, getting ready to button it up. We got the bolt out of the back of the starter. We have the oil cooler lines removed. And we're going to go ahead and finish putting this radiator in and then start working on some heater hoses. Radiator and the intercooler pipe is totally in. We got new clips on the transmission. Probably going to drop four or five ounces of transmission fluid in there. Now we're going after these heater hoses, the firewall junction, and the heater core. There was evidence that the heater core had been leaking because the floor mat sticks to the carpet. And then we look in here, and there's evidence of coolant leak. That freaking heater core looks original. So there's not much coolant in the system, but I'm going to put a bag under it. And take that screw out. And separate it and catch whatever fluid's in there. Then we're going to pull this pedal out. Somebody's already got the pedal busted up, looks like. And the hose is off of it. So the cruise probably doesn't work, but we'll get that hopefully back together properly so that they can have crews and whatnot. A couple things with getting the heater core out. I took the pedal loose and the accelerator pedal adapter for the cruise control was broken. So we're going to get that out of the donor car. We're going to put another heater core in. And one thing we noticed on the heater core, which is original, another miracle leaking up around there leaking up around there but there's this debris up here these crumbs for spider webs leaves whatever it is we're thinking that stuff is coming past the evaporator somehow so that evaporator probably has a lot of that stuff in there too so might take a look at that won't be today Good thing we're getting this heater core replaced. 
it's dark on the bottom, it's it's time. We got the firewall junction out. It looks like it had been replaced. These yellow tabs, they over time they turn kind of translucent or white and they look good. However, whoever tightened it to the firewall over tightened the screws and broke the mounting support on it. Just broke both of them. So when I tried to unscrew it, they wouldn't unscrew and they just pulled out. So this was just being held in place by the heater core and the pipes. Anyway, it needed heater hoses and this firewall junction was damaged. Mounting portion of it anyway, we're gonna replace it. We are like 15 minutes away from being done and it is starting to rain. And I'm looking for a tool I can't find that I had. I gotta find that tool. We are running again. New heater hoses, nothing's dripping under the car. Got some vacuum lines replaced. And a couple things straightened out, sorted out. Should be good to go. Trying to top off this cooler. Whoop, whoop. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.